Hey, welcome back to the channel. I've done a few videos on my 2009 Mac Pro that I've upgraded to the 5.1 firmware, and I frequently have people ask me how a particular OS runs on it. I already have some Mac OS performance videos on this channel, and on my Linux channel, I have some Linux performance videos. I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna check that out. But I thought I'd make one video that compares Windows, Linux, and Mac OS on this machine. Now I've kept the configuration exactly the same across all the OSs. The machine has two Xeon X5680 six core CPUs, 60 gigs of RAM, NVMe storage, and an RX 470 GPU. I've tested this on Mac OS Mojave, which is the latest natively supported Mac OS version for this machine, uh, Manjaro Linux and Windows 10, both of those with the latest updates as of 6.10.2020. Now there are not a lot of benchmarking tools that work across all these OSs. So for this video, I'll be using Geekbench, Novabench, Unigen Heaven, and for gaming, I'd be using the built-in benchmarking in Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. For the day-to-day -day performance, there's really not too much to say. The day-to-day, -day, just regular computer usage was solid on all the OSs, uh, very solid and consistent. Really not too much to say about that. Now let's jump into the benchmarking, which honestly I found somewhat surprising. So first up is Geekbench. In Geekbench, I ran both the CPU and the compute GPU tests. Uh, for the CPU test in Linux, we got a single core score of 673 and a multi-core score of 6301. Mojave, we got 652 on the single core and 6118 on the multi-core. On Windows, we got 614 on the single core and just 3569 on the multi-core. So as you can see, Manjaro Linux takes the lead on this one, but honestly not by much, over Mojave anyway. And I honestly don't have a reason why the multi-core score on Windows was so low. I tried different architecture level drivers and could not get anything to show a score that was in line with what I was expecting. So that may just be an anomaly. For the Geekbench OpenCL compute tests, we got 35,428 for Manjaro. Mojave came in with a score of 37,626 and Windows came in with a high of 39,194. This score was somewhat what I was expecting. I was expecting Windows to come at the highest, but honestly, I thought that Manjaro would outperform Mojave, and, and that just wasn't the case in these tests. So next up, we have Novabench, and this one was a little bit tricky because depending on which OS you run it on, you get different results, and I couldn't get results for two of the tests in Mojave. So keep that in mind as we go through this. In Manjaro, we got a CPU score of 1399, RAM score of 291, OpenCL GFLOP score of 4974, and disk score of 200. Mojave had some issues, as I mentioned, because we got nothing for CPU or GFLOPs, but we got 257 for RAM, and the disk score was 128. Windows came in at 984 for CPU, 284 for RAM, and 5532 for the OpenCL with a disk score of 171. Although not everything registered in Mojave, the other results came in significantly lower, so we can assume that the that's the case for the CPU and the GFLOP scores as well in Mojave. And once again, we can see that Manjaro came out ahead for raw processing and Windows came out ahead for graphics related benchmarking. The next benchmarking I did was testing just the graphics performance and that is using Unigen Heaven. All these tests were done at high settings at 1080p. In Manjaro, we got an average of about 83 frames per second with a max of 158 and a minimum of 13. Mojave came in with 66 average, 118 max and 11 minimum and then once again, <laughs> Windows came out on top with 94 average, 197 max, and nine minimum. As we saw with the other graphical tests, we can see that Windows came out ahead again with Manjaro second and Mojave lagging behind by a pretty significant margin in this case. The last benchmark I wanted to do was gaming related and one of the few games that I found with benchmarking available on all three OS's was Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. 
All tests were done on high settings at 1080p resolution. In Manjaro, we got an average of about 45 frames per second with a max of 64 and a minimum of 11. Mojave showed in with 37 average, a max of 65 and a minimum of nine, and Windows showed up with 60 frames per second average, 63 max, and 49 minimum. So I wanted to do some video editing benchmarks, but there really isn't a good way to benchmark across all three OSs. It wouldn't have been a fair test, so I decided just to skip it for this. Just for frame of reference, if you're editing 1080p, it works really well on this machine. 4K, you're gonna have to make proxy files no matter what operating system you're using. Uh, even Final Cut Pro on Mac OS, you're gonna have to make those proxy files for 4K. So all in all for CPU related tasks, Manjaro was consistently the winner with Windows consistently winning at GPU related tasks. Mojave came in first with the Geekbench OpenCL and middle of the road for Geekbench Compute, but last on all other tests. So all these benchmarks that I ran in this video are just synthetic benchmarks, so take it with a grain of salt. Would you really see that much difference in real world performance? Probably not unless you're sitting right next to them and comparing them side by side like I did in this video. Otherwise, you would probably not notice any performance difference from one OS to the other in real world usage. Now, hopefully you found this useful and informative. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. If you really liked it, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for stopping by.